So having these conversations about death is really helpful. I want everyone in Gisborne to be well informed because death is not the opposite of life, it's a part of it. Kia ora, my name is Annie Meredith and I am an end of life doula and funeral celebrant. A doula is a non-medical person. I provide emotional support before, during and after death. I chose this line of work because I know the value at end of life and it's a really significant time of life and yes it's sad but really my job is about love. I talk to you know not just dying people but people at any stage in their lives so we talk about advanced care plans or funeral wishes. My role is about sharing information and resources and I empower families who want to be prepared. After death some people they choose to be embalmed and others may want more traditional natural uh, methods or to use resources like Technies. So to know all your options and then to pick what is right for, for you or for your circumstances. My volunteering role with hospice is a biography work where I help capture a person's life story and write it up and then present that to them. So it's really special work and I enjoy uh, being able to help out at Tairapiti Hospice. The karakot is an example of the power of community. Uh, it gives the gift of time after a baby dies. The cooling system fits inside the bassinet and Fano can spend three to five days with baby. The idea to fundraise came after I presented at light bulb evening at Tarkia and I needed some ideas about how to get a karakot into Gisborne and the team down there in the community suggested doing a Give a Little page. So um, yeah, there's been a lot of support, a uh, community project by the community for the community. This particular karoko was in honour of Ollie Black, who was born in Gisborne Hospital 10 years ago. And his parents, Ray and Andrew Black, uh, have really appreciated all the kind donations in Ollie's honour. So the cuddle cot was gratefully received by maternity and to have this important resource, they know the value of it when baby dies. At the end of the day, nobody wants to see the cuddle cot being used, but the sad reality is some babies die. So because these cuddle cots, they're used in a handful of hospitals around New Zealand, but they are, and all around the world. So to have it in our hospital, I know the staff down there feel really grateful to have this tonga.